Hello, this is Mark Boyer, and uh, I'm starting a series of videos uh, for dummies uh, to show what we're doing in our BC MMAR Trust. It's revolutionary. In fact, it's evolutionary. And it's all good. Basically, uh, I'm cranking out documents uh, at about the rate of one a day and ask any lawyer that that's a good rate for the quality of documents that I'm pressing. Okay. All the documents that I do are going to be proofread and corrected by a trustee uh, who is implementing uh, a peer trust. Okay. Uh, I'm the first one to admit that had Harper not left his articles dangling, uh, namely the MMAR program, then we would never have been able to grab them and undertake our BC MMAR peer trust. Uh, it's first spelled a P-I-E-R trust, and then it's spelled as a P-U-R-E trust. Uh, there's lots of different variations of trusts. Just variations of peer trust, there's six. Just in variations of spelling. Uh, now, we pick those two because they're very relevant. Okay? A peer trust is one that's there to protect people who have been abused by a broken trust. Okay? A broken program. And that's exactly what the BC, what the MMAR is. It's broken. Okay, they're trying to walk away with it and call their new MMPR program the fix, and it's not. Okay, we of the Marijuana Party of Canada can and did seize those dangling articles, and we're forming a peer trust to protect those articles. Technically, Health Canada is a trust fund, in other words, a vessel floating uh, on a pond created by Parliament. Uh, we're, our EDA is a vessel floating on that same pond in Parliament under federal jurisdiction. Okay, That Health Canada vessel is also there. But you know what? We can seize that the MMAR articles very easily, and we did. Okay, that's all there is to it. We're going before a court uh, sometime in the first or second week of October at the latest, because if we'll just file, okay, we're getting universal stalls from everyone. Okay, uh, that's just the way it is. Most people don't see, or they see the size of it, they just don't see how it's possible. And frankly, uh, that's because there's well over a thousand trust laws and acts that simply aren't published. That's all there is to it. Okay? And I'm standing under a trustee who ha is a gang of five trustees. And, and for all intents and purposes, they wrote every act uh, in Parliament. There, there might be some they didn't, but for all intents and purposes, every major act they wrote, uh, we have an upper hand when we walk into a court of law because the judge can't err. Because the guy who wrote that, through the act will stand forward and go, excuse me, uh, that's my act, and as the living trustee for that act, uh, you can't do that. And he stands back, and the judge has to stand down. And that's in a hostile courtroom. And in Vancouver, we have a friendly courtroom. Okay? The city uh, has really no objection to me creating uh, this BC MMAR trust. And frankly, they can't stop it. And why would they? In Vancouver, it will mean $25 million more revenue for city coffers. And all those beautiful efforts of creating uh, a, a rough on the outside, but working 
a model that they've worked for for 15, 20 years to establish. And all of that would have been destroyed had Harper not left his dangling articles there to be grabbed. And that's what we did. We're actually the competition to the Health Canada, and uh, they can't do anything about it because we can and we are offering a better program. A peer trust is a one chance, a PIER trust is an open trust, and that's something a political party can undertake. And it's actually the very function of what a political party is supposed to do. We're supposed to protect the disadvantaged who have been screwed by a rotten system, front to back, over and under. Okay? We are doing this uh, through uh, legalization of pot. Actually, it's the regulation of pot, where it will be sold in dispen co-op dispensaries across Canada real soon. And basically, it's because they can't stop it. Okay? Uh, we're going into a court date where basically all these trustees have to do is show that they're accredited and they have a track record of having succeeded in doing exactly this before. And the judge can't say no. It's that simple. Okay? They just, they just can't, they don't have the jurisdiction. It's coming from a federal jurisdiction being handed down to a province to rule on, uh, can we do this? And just like when Health Canada was handed down to the provinces, can we do this? The provinces really didn't have any authority to do it, anything about it, because they were offering money. And that's exactly what we're doing. Okay? We're, we're becoming an authority as big as Health Canada because they left their dangling articles and we could grab them. Okay? Now, it, it goes more than this. Okay? It really goes more than this. See, what we did is we're legalizing the access to marijuana and a making a ways and means to create co-ops throughout Canada. And every community can deal with it as they want. Okay, Some will have strict rules. Some won't. In Vancouver, the rules will be I'd say less strict. Why? Just look who's on council and the mayor. And uh, that's just the way it is. Now, the reality is, is to, in order to benefit from this, you have to join the trust. And this trust is being held and being operated through the Marijuana Party of Canada. Uh, you go to my, set, my site and you sign, get one of these forms. You can go to Election Scan or two, you can go to the Marijuana Party of Canada and you get one of these forms. Okay? Now, this here is an official Elections Canada form and it says, you know, that you become basically your uh, private individual under the Elections Act. And it's like a union paper. It asks one question. If you don't put your birth date and you click yes, that means you're like a union member. You're not on any official lists. You become your own secret agent. Isn't that cool? And it's just the difference of not, uh, it's simple form. Read it. Okay. You sign this off in front of an officer of the marijuana party, which they're going to be have lots coming up real soon. Okay. Or do it as I outlined on the post, uh, on my wet, on my writings, uh, which is through post money gram orders because the date the money gram was, uh, Paid is the date you're covered. It's not the date we process it. It's the date, and the reality is the post office is being dragged in for this for very deep constitutional reasons. Don't worry about it. It's there to protect you. Okay? Now, so basically you sign this form here at the bottom, okay, saying that, you know, you comply to be a Canadian citizen, da 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 and then you go over here and... You sign this BCMMAR trust. Okay, now I want to show you something in law that's really critical. Okay, you see this here, X here. Okay, that's at the top of every prescription a doctor gives, and that's under the Elections Act 
a prescription to your rights under democracy. Okay, that's real. Okay, over here, we put the right X here. Okay, why? Because this is actually your prescription to your rights to regain your rights as a private individual. Okay, and what you do is by printing here and signing off here, put a date here, and go to a notary or a JP and have them sign off, you become your own agent, federal agent, to protect your rights as a private individual. And I know that's straw man stuff, but this is how you have to do it. Okay, And from that day on, uh, under uh, what we're calling our four, our 420 Quadra Federal Agency, which is the other half of this here, okay? Uh, okay, our four, okay. Now that is a club where all the members will reside, okay? Everyone who wants to join an electoral district association, or an electoral district association and their co-ops needs to be a member of our club or this 420 Federal Agency Society. And you become your own federal agents in dealing across the board with all sorts of personal issues that you'll find much easier to clear up because of this status. Okay, We're not just going for marijuana rights. We're going for full private individual rights, which means you have to be respected by a judge. And it returns everybody to a lawful society, a lawful civil society. Okay, then there's a big difference. We are now under a military state. We are under, being occupied by a foreign body called corporations. Our parliamentary system has been taken over by corporatization of the government itself. And it's all done through King Harpster, in our case, who went back to the form of King Henry VIII. And he holds all the despotic powers of King Henry VIII. And all his king's horsemen and all his king's men are acting like they have that power too. Under what's called one, Section 126 of the Criminal Code of Canada. And that same uh, law protects us because we're in his club called Parliament. The rule of law protects us because we're in the same club called Parliament. Uh, the American or the and the respondent superior, the law, the law of commerce, protects us, and uh, they can't get around it when they're dealing with us and they try to break the law. Uh, they must be arrested. Okay, that's all there is to it, because they cannot stop us from creating a peer trust. And a pure trust. And uh, what can I say? I'll stop this video now because it's uh, wandering. Uh, and I'll pick up on the rights of the growers after this. But uh, the bottom line to getting one of these signed and processed is that everyone who signs this has all the rights of an MMAR patient and more because you don't have to be chronically ill and nearly dead you never have to renew it you're in there for life and uh, you're, you're respected your medical access rights that are enshrined under the Charter of Free Rights and Freedoms will be enforced under a peer trust because as long as you operate under our rules and regulations which are going to be radically slacker than Health Canada's okay means you cannot be charged. If you operate outside the rules, then you're breaking your trust. And like the biggest one there, the most common application will be someone selling their entrusted medicine to someone who is not a member. Okay, And that one, if you do get caught at that, the penalty is twice as, much, twice as heavy as it would have been before. And that's just the way it is. Okay, there's nothing we can do to protect the idiots from themselves. Every peer trust that's ever gone into effect has had its bumps, kinks, and bruises at the beginning. Uh, and uh, 
it works itself out. Why? Uh, everybody needs a break from what's going down. Okay, it's only going to go worse, and this is a stab at making uh, everything better through a ripple in still waters. Uh, thank you very much. I'll follow up.